in my opinion, Bill's very essence is that of a pioneer. I call Bill inspirational because he is an inspiration on how someone should live their life as a corporate leader, as a community leader, as an employer, and as a friend. Bill's a visionary. There's no question in my mind, someplace in his own personal experiences and the struggles that he'd been through in, in other fashions, I think he began to develop in his own mind the culture that he thought we all ought to have in our country on, on staying well. William Kistler Coors, known by many as Bill or Uncle Bill, was born in Colorado on August 11, 1916, in the shadow of the Coors Brewing Company. He is the grandson of Adolph Coors, who founded the brewery in 1873. As a young man, he began working for the family business. I think the best lesson I learned is be conformist. Do what you're supposed to do. Do what is expected of you. I was expected by my parents and my grandparents to excel in everything I did. You couldn't be good enough, but it was easy to be bad enough. At 99 years old, it's hard to imagine a young Bill Coors as someone who suffered serious health problems. The pressures of the family business, the expectations of his father, and the weight of his future began to take a serious toll on Bill's health. Doctors didn't have the slightest clue what was wrong and had no idea how to help, despite the fact they were seeing the same symptoms in numerous patients. Bill had done his part. He took the battery of tests, but conventional medicine offered no prescription that could help him. They give me every test they knew about. And then I remember walking into the physician's office for my final review. I was thinking, I don't want to go on living like this. I'll have to find out myself what's wrong. So that launched me in what I called a 25-year career of the non-conventional medicine. For Bill, one of those non-conventional alternatives included mind-body medicine. Bill was suffering from stress, and early studies on mind-body medicine techniques showed promise for reducing stress. Bill began to support Dr. Benson's evidence-based research in the area of mind-body medicine. He saw eventually that health and well-being would be like a three-legged stool. And mind-body medicine, integrative medicine, came in that third leg. I always felt very, very strongly that a person had to take full responsibility for the people that worked for them. Believing that good health involves both mental and physical exercise, Bill would establish the Coors Wellness Center, which set the benchmark for employee wellness programs across the country. Why does a brewery have a wellness program? And I think Bill's answer would have been about the same, because people make beer and keeping them healthy also helps the company. Bill knew this was good for his employees, but what did it do for the company's bottom line? Dr. James Tierberg from the Lundquist College of Business at the University of Oregon agreed to study whether the Coors Wellness Program made financial sense for the company. We did two studies, one in 1998 and one in 1995. And both of these studies showed that there were not only benefits to the health of the uh, employees at Coors, but also financial benefits to the company as a whole. And when the figures came out and we showed them to Bill, Bill still said, I don't want this in the media because I do not want to have an employee feel we're doing this just to save money. I think the average person needs more guidance. And that is the purpose of the Wellness Center, teach people how to live. What I'm finding so interesting about our Wellness Center is the number, the dedication of our retirees. They're the youngest bunch of old people I've ever seen in my life. I'm very proud of this. Bill is a prototype for me. I'm 80 years old and Bill's teaching me how to be 100. It was Bill and his brother Joe who created the Adolph Coors Foundation in 1975. 
And today, the foundation continues to advance Bill's vision of integrative health by funding evidence-based research and demonstration projects nationwide. Well, if there had been no Bill Coors, I'm not sure that uh, the company would be around, and I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have a foundation. <laughs> so his fingerprints are all over everything, uh, everything we are today. Uh, both as a business, as a family, and as a foundation. He's going to continue to do great things, by the way. He's only 99. When you speak about Bill Coors to me, Bill has been, I think, almost camouflaged from the standpoint of his contribution because he just doesn't run around seeking it. He's always lived his life to make life and the world better for others. Bill genuinely cares about people, and he cares about them regardless of their station in life. During life, you do a lot of things that you shouldn't have done, regret the fact that you did them, but there's always tomorrow to correct them. The will to live, you don't give up. Bill Coors will be 100 years old this August, and unknown to many, he has had a profound impact on our health and well-being in the United States. Bill served his family, his employees, and his country but most important, his passion and pioneering spirit have taught people how to live.